up everybody today I'm installing uh, this skylight it's called Velux V-E-L-U-X Velux they're made in America the cool thing about this thing is uh, you don't have to uh, wire them anymore they come with a little solar uh, little solar panel right here that keeps the uh, the uh, skylight functioning and also it has a remote control and also it has like a little wire on the outside that attaches to uh, another little solar panel that goes on the outside and this one goes on top of the shingles so today I'm gonna take you to the steps how do I install it uh, this is the way I do it uh, these guys we made the frame uh, usually they come and send their own installers but these guys they make their own frame right here so I told them how to do it and I was gonna fabricate my own flashing but I, I had the, uh, my flashing down there but they told me to use the uh, Velux uh, flashings so they can get the full warranty well this thing comes with the roller peeling stick like this and this one you just uh, cut it to size and then just wrap it around like this so this is step one and then step two I'm gonna guide you when I install the flashing on it All right and then I'll take a video when I get done see ya I start by installing the, the uh, peeling stick on the bottom side so identify which is the lower side and start from there then I start on the sides and then for last thing it's gonna go on the top right so in this case I have one skyler on each side so I already did that one but I didn't take a video on it so I'm gonna, I'm gonna take a video for this so I can go you see I already put my my bottom side uh, what do you call it peeling stick now I'm gonna install the other one steps you're gonna have to do the sides okay make sure you wrap them around here like this and then you overlap on the top you make a cut right here and fold it on this side same thing with the other one and then now I'm gonna put the, the the top part that's gonna go overlap and then gonna wrap around this one make sure that you wrap your hands around the on top of it and then so it's uh, fully uh, flush and then make a cut right here use a straight blade and then cut from the corner to the outside this one fold it like this and then this one like this and like this okay same thing on the other side so that way this one you wrap it on the inside this one you wrap it on the outside and same with this thing cut right here on top and then you just make a little angle cut right here like this but you don't let it stick together because it's very sticky like this okay and now you're ready to shingle it and now since I have the uh, the top right there so I'm gonna put another piece so I can overlap it on both sides I made the frame a little bit smaller so I have to fold some of the the flange on top of the frame but anyway here is a step I installed the same step flashing they they give you with the kit it's a Velux kit that they sell you so it comes with the roof to wall uh, step flashing and uh, saddle this is the step flashing kit Okay. It comes with a step flashing, everything. So it costs about a couple hundred bucks, something like that. I don't know. But then so, and then I think they they warranty their flashing for I don't know for life, so it won't leak. It all depends on the roofer, in my personal opinion, but. I can fabricate my own flashing and it was gonna leak but they said they're flashing it's made for this so I guess I'm gonna have to agree.
mount the little solar panel, connect it to the cable, and then install it. Later on, I'm gonna, gonna secure it with the screws, but for now, it's okay. Hello guys, I'm done. Finally done after three days, one day to prep. Actually, it's been like four days because I came in steps to finish the, to do the crickets, the skylights, this little step thing, you know, like the little steep uh, roof right here. And this is the way it looks. We install new skylights, solar power skylights. And this is my little cricket that I'm talking about. So please don't let your roof install shingles over here because you're gonna have a water leak, okay? Color shown, it's a cool slate, no coastal slate. I uh, sometimes you know the the codes change over the years so you have to be updated every year you know see what the new codes are where's the new uh, material back in the days I remember I used to go up on the roof and we never care about uh, you know like saving energy like cool colors cool roofing not nothing of that none of that uh, nowadays you know the the city are very compromised with uh, saving energy and requesting the roofers to install like uh, saving uh, like cool roofing materials like in this case mm. I try to paint it the, the pipes too much so so they do match and uh, this is my finished work We also snap a line on the um, over the ridge on the hips. This one, this thing is called hip. That one's hip. This is ridge. Color, it's a coastal slate. Check how we did the fireplace. When you have some weekend warriors, they, they don't have any chance to do anything. They just fly through the roof. They don't care if there's damaged wood or anything. They don't care for crooked lines or painting their pipes or anything like that. They just want to get, get on and off the roof and who cares? At the end, you get stuck with the that installation just because you want to save some money you don't want to get a roofing permit stuff like that so think about it okay sometimes it's not worth it